welcome back to Red Ted Up. Today we have a cappuccino or hot chocolate or a coffee cup which I made especially for the lovely Margarita, my namesake. So I'm a Maggie for short but Margarita for long. And she, along with a couple of others of you, has been patiently asking for a coffee cup corner bookmark. So let's take a look and see how it's made. Right, time for a coffee cup uh, bookmark. So I decided uh, to use a square white piece of paper and we're going to make the basic corner bookmark, which you should all be familiar with already. So I'm going to fold it over to get a triangle, bring the pointy corner up to the sort of right angled corner, aligning these lines, creating a perpendicular, and repeat for the other side. Now you have a diamond. Open it up, bring one of the two flaps halfway down so this point here meets the bottom, creating a parallel line and bring the flaps back up and tuck them under. And again, bring the flap back up and tuck it under. Now to make our coffee cup, we shall focus on this side of the um, bookmark. And this is kind of a bit of a tricky one, to be honest. I started off with creating a handle because that's something that you have to fit in. So this is actually not a completely symmetrical bookmark. So I'm gonna do it with a, a pencil and then later we're gonna rub the pencil marks out, but it does help to kind of put the outlines there. So that's my little handle. And because of that, obviously the rest of the teacup isn't going to be completely symmetrical, but that's fine because you don't actually notice. So then I'm going to sketch out the cup, fit it in to so this bit should be as even as possible. And then once you've got your cup outline, which is kind of like a semicircle, you could maybe use a glass and have a look. You do another one, not straight across for the cup, but at an angle, sort of like as a, an oval. This gives it kind of that 3D or slightly three-dimensional shape. And that's our basic coffee cup. Now we've got all this up here. What we're going to do with it, we're going to turn it into a nice cappuccino froth. Or, you know, if you prefer hot chocolate, obviously it could be a nice hot chocolatey froth. Now the important thing about the coffee cups is that you don't want to cut too much of the edges away. So although it looks curved, we're actually keeping some straight edges just here and here and here. And we're just gonna kind of tuck in our, our creamy frothy bits around that. And up here, we want to create a little sort of peak of our froth, nice and creamy. There we go. And that's our basic outline. Because <clears throat> so I'm now gonna use um, my thick pen, which we then later we can rub off, rub off the pencil lines, just to kind of um, follow these around and kind of emphasize the shape. And kind of make it look rounder than it actually is. We're also gonna do the coffee cup, uh, the cup itself. And at this point, you can then choose to decorate the cup, whatever you want. Now, you know, I'm rather a big fan of kawaii faces. Can't get past the cuteness. So obviously I'm gonna put one of my favorite kawaii faces on this, but you could, for example, just decorate it with little flowers. You could decorate it um, with stripes. You could decorate it basically with whatever you want. But as I said, <laughs> I love a bit of kawaii and I'm gonna use my pencil just to help me position my eyes. And then I'm going to go over with my black pen. And at the end of the, you know, after I finish the video, because I want to let this dry, I'm going to then gently rub out my pencil marks. Um, if I do it during the video, basically it's going to end up smudging. And recently I've been smudging quite a lot of my videos for some reason. So I'm going to be careful and not smudge it. So do remember to do that at the end, is to get a rubber and take off all the pencil lines. Thank you. 
Oh, I should have done my trimming already, shouldn't I? I've been decorating, getting carried away. Normally I do my cutting first. You know, you can do any kawaii pattern, of course. Um, just use your favorite face. Today I'm gonna to draw on my, my cheeks because I'm also gonna use my pencils to add kind of a bit of texture to my um, cup. I decided to have it like a slightly blue cup. Give it that sort of rounded feel. When you're doing that, you kind of make it darker near the edge and then a bit lighter as you go in. I'm gonna do the same on this side. In fact, I might rub out this first carefully, not to smudge. And then you can also add some little details to kind of give it that curvature here. Not brilliant at this. There you go, that cute. And then all you need to do is cut out your cup. Now remember you need to keep some straight edges here and here, otherwise it will fall apart. So cut on, on this, this side, cut as little as you can. Down here you can cut as much as you want, doesn't matter. With the handle, I'm gonna leave this bit in there because it would be really fiddly to cut out. And I'm also going to leave this bit there just to secure the, the bookmark a bit. So the handle comes right to the edge. And then just to give it a tiny bit of sort of definition, you can cut a few of these out. But like I say, keep as many as you can. Actually, you don't need to cut that. That's just being extra. Maybe a tiny bit here. And a tiny bit here. And then also when it sits in your book, it's quite cute, isn't it? There you have it. <laughs> very simple coffee cup. Don't you think that's adorable? Now, as always, don't forget to add this to your playlist. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.